the responsiveness of the kitchen was the, probably the main driver for the space. It's that low use, quiet time versus the high use entertaining. And so the ability for when they were on their own, the cabinetry could sort of recede and be quite simple and clean and still feel intimate. And then when they had guests and, and they were entertaining, that it could open up and reveal the functions of the kitchen and accommodate all of the requirements that they had. I'm Ollie Booth from Ollie Booth Architecture and we're at a recently completed home in Hindbay. I guess the working triangle is always a consideration, but perhaps it sort of develops into something of like the division of space. So identifying where the, the functional areas of the home are and making sure that that connection is maintained, whether it be the cooktop to the outdoor living or the fridge central to both the bar and the kitchen so that when it was being used in high intensity times that it could respond to that rather than people starting to overlap. The outdoor space was a really important moment. You know, that's where the aperture, that sort of punch through the cabinetry connects that outdoor courtyard and, and the grill and it's a, a really nice moment to be able to sort of pass through and use that space really freely. It meant that with a, a much deeper bench than normal that could be used as sort of as another bench or a table to sort of connect those spaces. Appliances and drawers uh, unlock the space, that's for sure. That sort of flexibility to also disperse them throughout the kitchen space. With the dish drawer, it could be located close to sort of the daily comings and goings, maybe that you use in, in your daily routines, and then they could be combined in separate areas for that sort of more low-key but sometimes higher intensity use in your sort of more weekend rituals. <laughs>